The 2019 coronavirus disease or COVID-19 started in Wuhan, China and swiftly became a pandemic within just three months. According to a Nature article, the virus most likely originated in bats and has since mutated many years ago. After genetic analysis, the virus came to be known as SARS-CoV-2. But why is there a 2? Many years ago, before I was even born, a virus called Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus or SARS-CoV infected food and animal hunters in Guangdong, China. It eventually spread all around the world and infected thousands and killed a few hundreds. That was back in 2003. Nine years after, in 2012, a new strain of coronavirus emerged, this time from the deserts of Saudi Arabia. It was named the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS. It is believed that dromedary camels carrying MERS directly infected humans prior to the human-to-human -human transmission of the virus. So how does SARS-CoV-2 compare with the older coronaviruses? Well, SARS-CoV-2 cannot be transmitted from animals to humans, unlike MERS. It is significantly less deadly with a mortality rate of 4%. SARS and MERS were really scary with rates of up to 15 and 35% respectively. But also, it is so much more easily transmissible. SARS had around 8,000 confirmed cases, all of which were officially contained in 8 months. MERS currently has around 2,5. But COVID has almost 600,000 cases, holding the crowd as the very first coronavirus to cause a pandemic, with sadly no end currently in sight. So there, SARS-CoV, MERS-CoV, and SARS-CoV-2 make up the three deadliest human coronaviruses known today. But wait, so there are still some more? The answer is yes. There are four more strains of coronaviruses named 229E, NL63, OC43, and HKU1. Sounds unfamiliar? It's probably because these viruses are less attention seeking. So much so that they only cause symptoms similar to the common cold. But for now, what you guys really need to know is that all these coronaviruses, both the deadly and the simply annoying, can be prevented by frequent hand washing, avoiding touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, and staying away from crowded areas. This may be the first coronavirus outbreak that will be stored in our core memories. Let us remember with gratitude the healthcare workers, the janitors, the food delivery guy, the bank clerks, and the cashiers. Everyone who, in these trying times, chose to stand in the line of fire. Thanks for watching my first YouTube video. Is there something you want to learn about? Comment down below, click the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more Studio Squirrel videos.